Now what we're going to do is we're going to put our ABS data onto the map as well. What I do, I've gone on to where I've saved them and I've clicked on that little plus sign and I'm going to drag both files over. You might notice that instead of the normal display, it actually goes into the second one, which lists by source. Now these ones, if you look at the table, they don't have a longitude and latitude, but they do have the SA2 name. What I want to do is I want to join the table to the SA2. So let's click on, we want to join it by the SA2. Well, let's try, we'll try the five digit number first. You'll see nothing's come up, or oh, wrong sheet. You need to make sure you're on the right sheet. Let's go into that one. And we'll see SA2 five digit 16. Okay, well, let's see if it works. Okay, we'll go okay. I like to show you things if they don't work because it shows that there's a lot of stuff in this which may or may not work. So you can see there's there. Has it worked? Well, it's, it's, it's added some stuff, but it seems to have removed some of them. So I'm going to sort. Mm, a lot of them seems to have worked. So which ones haven't worked? So if I go down into ones that haven't worked, Let's just go there. So some of them haven't worked. And maybe they're ones that, let's see the SA2s that haven't worked. Uh, well, that's all New South Wales. So I don't really care about that. <laughs> okay, so it's worked. What you do then, this is just a temporary thing. So what you might do then is get that, export the data, put it into your folder connections, find your file, find you're there and you can export it as a shape file or you can export it as a geodatabase. Uh, so you might export it as a geodatabase thing and you would call it ABS variables. And go save, go OK. And that will export it and you can add it to your map. You would do the same as first, then go into that one, joins and relates, remove joins, and then save it. I'm not saving this because I've. Then what I want to do is go op, uh, joins and relates, join, and I'm going to join. We'll do the number the same. Sometimes it doesn't work, particularly if the number is, is um, coded as text and, and the other one's numeric. But let's go into that one. Ah, well, there we go. Good -o. Okay, so let's try it a different way. Let's go SA2 name and let's. So that isn't working. So the reason you have to do, I mean, the reason you have to do things, um, there's a lot of stuff you do in ArcGIS that is not necessarily um, straightforward the first time you do it. So what I would then do is I would right click on that, go into properties. You can see that my SA2 five-digit number is a text field. The name is also a text field. If I go into this table, which I am trying to um, show the fields there, what about my SA2 number? Ah, well, I've already come to the, I've already, I've already found the reason why the SA2 number was. So because this field, we're going to do it in Excel and not in this, unless we want to link it to the local government authority or the SA2, SA1, because this is an SA1 field. And I will show you in the next video how to aggregate it to SA2. But bear in mind the modifiable aerial unit problem and the ecological fallacy.